Good morning, guys. Um, Sunday morning model cars and coffee. Um, Zippy uh, did a, uh, you know, what kind of coffee you're drinking. Um, uh, oftentimes, I also get Pete's. Um, however, um, I, I like to try other things, too. As for uh, how I drink it, that's it. Uh, this is my whole coffee bar setup. Got the Keurig in case I just want one small cup or if I'm in a hurry. I got the Nespresso machine in case I want to make espresso. Uh, I got my French press and my grinder. I do love French press coffee, but oftentimes I don't have a lot of time for that. And then this Technovorm that my wife got me. Um, it's a very simple percolator sort of style coffee maker that she got me for Christmas, I don't know, six years ago. So yeah, uh, we're drinking Pete's Major Dickinson's blend right now. And uh, I'm going to flip you guys around. Well, you're going to show back up at the bench while I show you my model car for this morning. All right, folks. I only uh, lied a little bit. We're not back at the bench. We are back at the photo booth. I had to come out here into the workshop. Um... So I just figured I'd shoot it out here with the white background instead of the uh, the dining room background. Um, thanks again, Paul, for putting this on. Um, it's great. I look forward to the videos from everybody every week. And um, just so much great content comes out of it. And um, so today I'm going to show off my 1937 Ford pickup. Um, this kit was a blast, and, um, as you can probably tell, I went with the, uh, let me just put this back here. I went with this box art. Um, this is actually the first build I put on my channel, which was a year ago. I've been on here for a year. If you've been here the whole time, thank you. I can't even believe that. Um, time flies when you're having fun, but so yeah, this is my first repeat that's been on the channel. I, uh, I built, I built it just like the, uh, the box art. I really enjoyed the art style of this box art and I thought the patina on the truck looked really cool. So that's what we did. We tried to replicate that and, um, you know, I think it worked out. We got the, the red steelies, we got the, um, the surfboard, I just did some uh, lug nut detail and hub detail. I did my own twist on it in a few spots. I raked the, the grill back as far as it would go and I cut this hood down almost to fit because I wanted it to be sort of like a homemade style uh, street rod. Like you replace the front end and just cut down the hood to uh, get it to work and I uh, put the hood ornament back so it sort of uh, sits on the very edge so we could still have a hood, or hood ornament. Um, got the uh, bare metal for the uh, firewall. The decals are pretty cool because they are distressed already so it looks right with your build. Um, wood grain is just various browns and blacks and then I picked out the bolt detail for the slats and then uh, you can see Ravel gives you some really nice texturing so the the grain really comes out uh, with just a little bit of black dry brushing over your over your wood tones and then that chrome I think that chrome is just a Molotow pin um, so we got no spare tire. The kit built up really nicely. The only thing was the, uh, bumper horns were sort of twisted for some reason. 
I could not get them straight, but when I built the truck and mocked it up, all four tires touched the ground. So sort of a weird deal. Never did figure that one out. And I thought the sagging bumpers sort of went with the patina look. So I didn't care too much. We just got some bumpers that aren't quite straight. Looks good with the truck. Um, interior. It's just a simple red seat to match the sort of theme I've got with the red wheels. And then we got a sort of sheet metal dash. Just a simple interior. And then the underside, we stuck with the red oxide primer for the frame. Uh, for the patina, all I did was uh, prime it mostly in red oxide with some gray and uh, also in spot in corners and spots I was going to sand down and just basically wet sanded it down through the color coat and uh, that's how we got this look and I was really pleased with how it turned out just a just a really fun build I have the I guess I didn't really show you the engine uh, I, I went fully custom with the engine as far as a flathead goes wired it with the uh, wire covers that go down into the distributor. I used solder for that. I don't know if you can see that. The fin heads, the twin, twin carbs, good old 95 horsepower flathead. Um, but yeah, really fun kit. And I have the sedan delivery version too, which I'll probably build with a totally stock flathead instead of the hopped up hot rod version and uh we'll put the full hood on that and the uh the factory grill instead of the optional and uh it'll go good with this but uh, yeah this was a really fun build uh great great old old revel kit um and uh before i get off here i want to say continued prayers for everybody affected by any of the storms and uh anybody with um having some health issues. I know there's several people out there that could use our prayers right now. So everybody, I've been thinking about a lot of people in this great community we have, and um, I can't say how much I appreciate <clears throat> all of you guys. Anybody that stopped by here for even one second, uh, you guys are awesome. And keep up the great work. If you have channels of your own, I, I love watching everybody's stuff. Wish I could do it more. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch some videos later today, and uh, I'll catch you guys all again real soon. Hope you have had a great weekend and have a great week coming up here. I'll see you.